you know, obviously the goal for every team in this league, you know, is go win your division and go make a run at the Super Bowl. Um, but these division games are obviously bigger than most. And to get Houston, you know, week one at home right off the bat, you know, obviously ended with them um, and then get them right back in our house week one. Uh, it's excitement more than anything. We're, our guys, they'll be ready to roll. I know they're excited for the opportunity uh, to go compete for sure. So the Colts just played the Bengals on Amazon Prime for their final preseason game. And we got to see Anthony Richardson under center as he completed seven of eight passes for 65 yards with a touchdown. But the final reports on his game were mixed. Some people thought he played phenomenal and others thought he was just decent. So in this video, I'm gonna give my final thoughts on the game. And I'm also gonna talk about what's been going on with the Colts as a team. But before I begin, I would really appreciate it if you would drop a like and subscribe. It only takes 5 seconds, plus you can always change your mind. We are on the road to 40k subscribers, and with your support, I believe we can get there super fast. The Colts kicked off their preseason with a hard-fought game against the Denver Broncos. The final score was 34-30 in favor of Denver. But the result wasn't the main focus. All eyes were on rookie quarterback Anthony Richardson, who saw limited action, but gave us a taste of what he might bring to the table this season. Richardson played two series with the starting offense, completing two of four passes for 25 yards, showcasing his strong arm and the potential for deep connections in the regular season when things actually matter. Despite these glimpses of promise, Richardson also had moments where his inexperience showed, like on a near interception that luckily fell incomplete. These are the growing pains we can expect from a second year quarterback with little experience, but the raw talent is unmistakable. And other players also made their presence known. Laquan Treadmill, looking to secure a spot on the roster, caught a 16 yard touchdown pass, proving he could be a valuable red zone target down the road. On defense, rookie defensive end Laatu Latu made a significant impact with a timely QB pressure, forcing a Broncos punt. These performances underline the depth and potential of this Colts roster, especially among the younger players. Moving forward to the Colts' third preseason game against the Cincinnati Bengals, Anthony Richardson took a more prominent role, playing nearly the entire first half. He completed 8 of 14 passes for 86 yards and threw his first touchdown pass of the year. Richardson also demonstrated his dual threat ability by getting out of the pocket when he got pressured. Some of the standout moments from this game were multiple beautifully executed play action RPOs where Richardson connected with A.D. Mitchell along with Alec Pierce. These plays highlighted Richardson's ability to read defenses and make quick, decisive throws, a key skill he'll need during the regular season. His first drive was outstanding, where Richardson directed an 80-yard drive, completing 7 of 8 passes for 65 yards and finishing it with a 9-yard scoring TD on a drag to A.D. Mitchell. However, it wasn't all smooth sailing. After that first drive, Richardson's inexperience was evident and a few missed reads and an interception that was taken back for a touchdown. These are areas he'll need to clean up as he transitions to leading the Colts in the regular season. But the potential is definitely there for him to be a dynamic playmaker. And Richardson will have some valuable mentorship with the addition of Joe Flacco to the Colts. Flacco brings years of NFL experience, including a Super Bowl MVP title. His deep knowledge of reading defenses, game management, and handling the pressures of being a starting quarterback will be crucial for Richardson's development. His presence in the quarterback room will offer Richardson a seasoned perspective, helping him to better understand the nuances of the game and avoid common rookie mistakes. This mentorship can accelerate Richardson's transition into becoming a successful NFL starter. As training camp starts to come to a close, the preseason games and practices have provided a closer look at who might be stepping up for the Colts this season and who might be falling behind. On the defensive side, Eddie Tamua Adeboye has been a revelation. The rookie defensive end has consistently disrupted plays in practice and carried that momentum into the preseason games. His pass rushing ability is something the Colts desperately need, and if he can maintain this level of play, he could become a cornerstone of the defense. And the Colts receiving core, featuring Michael Pittman Jr., A.D. Mitchell, Josh Downs, and Alec Pierce is shaping up to be a dynamic group for 2024. Michael Pittman Jr., the veteran leader, which is just crazy to say, has had a relatively quiet training camp but remains a crucial target for Anthony Richardson, especially in contested catch situations. A.D. Mitchell has shown flashes of potential during camp and the preseason, highlighted by his strong connection with Richardson on play-action plays. And second-year Josh Downs has impressed with his route running and quickness, making him a potential threat in the slot, while Alec Pierce continues to be a deep ball specialist, leveraging his speed and height to stretch the field. And these receivers complement each other well, with Pittman providing a reliable big-bodied presence, Pierce offering deep threat capabilities, Downs working the middle of the field, and Mitchell 
adding versatility, together they can help ease Richardson's transition back into the NFL by creating separation, making plays after the catch, and giving him multiple reliable targets. This diverse skill set within the receiving group is key to not only Richardson's development, but also to the overall success of the Colts offense this season. And another standout has been wide receiver Anthony Gold. Known for his blistering 4-3-9 speed, Gold has been making a name for himself on special teams and could potentially earn a spot as a return specialist. His 49-yard kick return against the Broncos was a clear indicator of his explosive playmaking ability and it wouldn't be surprising to see him get more involved in the offense as the season progresses. On the offensive line, rookie guard Emil Akiyo Jr. has also impressed during camp. He's shown solid footwork and power in run blocking, which has caught the attention of the coaching staff. Given the importance of protecting a young quarterback like Richardson, his development is a promising sign. Tight end Mo Ali Cox has also been inconsistent. Despite his physical tools, he has struggled with drops in key situations during practices. And this has really raised questions about his role in the offense, especially with younger players like Delaney Woods and Kylan Granton pushing for more snaps. Moving on, I really think the Colts' 2024 schedule is very up in the air as of now. It comes into the season being ranked the 21st hardest schedule, but that can easily change. They open up the year playing the Houston Texans at home, where they will have to play the top rising offense in the NFL with Stroud, Diggs, Tank Dell, and that's just to name a few. The Colts have the task of playing them twice a year, and they will run into some tough playoff caliber teams in the middle of the year playing the Dolphins, Lions, and Bills in the span of five weeks. The Colts schedule also faces several weird stretches not knowing how each team will pan out with games against the Bears, Steelers, and Packers in back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back weeks. These teams all can be playoff caliber, but it's of course up to the Colts to handle business and take them down. And the Colts will have opportunities to capitalize, particularly at the end of the season when they face teams like the Broncos, Titans, and Giants. They could help the Colts build momentum and confidence as they hope to make it into the playoffs. So looking at the schedule as a whole, it's clear that the Colts will need to grow up quickly. The defense will need to be sharp, particularly against high-powered offenses, and the offensive line must protect Richardson if he's going to thrive. If everything comes together, the Colts could be a surprise playoff contender, but with an inexperienced second-year quarterback and some key players still finding their form this season could just as easily be a building year and that's okay but let me know what you guys think in the comments below thank you all so much if you made it to this point and if you enjoyed and haven't yet please be sure to drop a like and subscribe because your support truly does mean the world and also let me know what you would like to see next and until then i will see you all later